Did you know that Brooke Shield was only 14 years old when she played in Blue Lagoon, a movie that involved multiple nude scenes with her? If you think that's crazy, wait till you hear about these eight actors who were too young to play their roles. Claire Danes shot to fame with her part in Romeo and Juliet and is one of the older names on this list. However, 16 is still far too young to be partaking in explicit love scenes and violent sequences, especially when her love interest was a 21-year-old DiCaprio. Kick-Ass became a smash hit due to its dark humor and brutal action scenes. From fistfights to all-out weapons brawls, the movie had everything a bloodthirsty fan could want, but nobody was prepared for an 11-year-old Chloe Grace Moritz to be the most talented vigilante, especially not one trained in the arts of murder, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and weaponry. Let's see what you can do now. Blue Lagoon didn't just raise eyebrows for its decision to cast a 14-year-old Brooke Shields, its decision to place her in multiple nude scenes, and have a relationship with her cousin that resulted in a baby, is what really placed the film in the center of its controversy, and raised multiple questions surrounding the use of underage actors in roles of adult nature. Thora Birch was also 16 when she undertook a role in the movie American Beauty, but only after obtaining permission from her parents, like a consent form for a class trip. Of course, the scene where she undresses whilst being watched from afar remains one of the more controversial moments in cinematic history. Natalie Portman was just 12 when filming her role in the assassin movie Lee on the Professional. I mean, this is a movie where she shoots guns, smokes cigarettes, and learns how to be an assassin while chasing vengeance. No wonder so many people thought she was too young for the role. Jodie Foster was another 12-year-old to hold a role far too raw for her age playing the part of a child street worker in the 1976 hit, Taxi Driver. Foster was so young that she had to undergo psych evaluations and have her older sister stand in during more provocative scenes. Interview with a Vampire is a classic novel, and as a movie, holds a cult following. However, Kirsten Dunst was just 11 years old when playing an adult vampire stuck in a five-year-old's body. We saw her drink blood, cut off her own hair, and portray the true bloodthirsty nature of the creatures of the night earning her a Golden Globe nomination and propelling her to stardom. Macaulay Culkin is unquestionably one of the most gifted child actors in history, which is why his role in The Good Son, where he plays a psychotic child hell-bent on murder, caused such a stir. Shockingly, Culkin's real-life sister, Quinn, was also in the movie, with Macaulay plotting and executing multiple attempts to take her life. So there you have it, eight young actors that were certainly too young to take on such mature roles but who still marked movie history and public opinion forever.